Hey everybody, tis I. I want to talk about Dr. Phil's show on Main Street about estrangement. It was broadcast for the first time the other day. And I'm going to touch on some very valid points. Number one, I don't believe Dr. Phil has any experience with parental estrangement, whether it's towards a parent or from his sons towards him. He admitted to having an abusive father that he continued to have a relationship with after his father supposedly went and got his degree in something. He became cordial, but still continued the relationship. His sons, of course, have never estranged from him. And that normally happens with, with families of wealth. I, I, I don't hear about it a whole lot. <laughs> so anyways, given the fact that Dr. Phil doesn't have experience and supposedly he has some sort of degree, which I don't know. He didn't seem to be able to really <laughs> show any sympathy or empathy towards the mom who is estranged from her adult daughter. This woman was genuine, kind, showed sympathy, empathy, and said she loved her daughter and would throw herself in front of a bus for her while the daughter sat there smug, condescending, and really couldn't come up with a reason for the estrangement. Daughter didn't say, well, my mom abused me. She was mentally, emotionally, physically. She didn't, she didn't say anything like that. It seemed like the daughter was simply holding a grudge because she didn't care for how her mom responded to her spouse. And yet, the mother brought forth the fact that she had invited her daughter's wife's son for debt, just invited him to spend some time, and her daughter-in-law never passed the information on to her son, gave him an opportunity to spend time with his now grandmother, who this woman has opened her arms and her heart to a child that is not biologically hers because she's a kind person, because she's a generous person, and that's just the kind of person she is. So what it comes down to is, Dr. Phil, you don't have experience with this situation, and so I, I wouldn't definitely turn to you for advice. Secondly, when you bring Coleman on there, uh, sorry, but can't agree with any of his philosophies either. Dr. Phil, you said keep keep holding on and holding on. I don't think so. <laughs> you hold on to a rope and it's wrapped around and the weight keeps getting heavier and heavier and that rope cuts into your skin and eventually you don't let go. You can lose digits and fingers and all that. You gotta let go. If there's a point in time, you just have to let go when you're dealing with a adult son or daughter who's smug, who doesn't show any sort of empathy or compassion for a parent who's crying, how can you sit there and call yourself a human being? How can you say you love your child when you relish in seeing your own mother cry and not stand up and give her a hug? How are you going to feel when your own child does that to you? That's my question. I'm not saying my mom and I have always gotten along but I reconciled and had a conversation with her. And most important, when my grandmother passed away, I gave my mom a hug. I showed compassion towards her because that's the right thing to do. So all I'm going to say is, Dr. Phil, you missed the mark. Please don't hold any more shows on estrangement. Stick to whatever you're good at, which is promoting things and talking about your wife's beauty line and your son's publishing companies and his rock, the other one's rock band. You're getting paid to promote games and have people upload the game in your studio audience. We know that you're getting paid for promos because <laughs> you're certainly no expert on estrangement. That's all I've got to say, and I'll be back.